Good morning, everybody. How should one judge one's own creations? It's a question we're going to explore briefly this morning. The song I wrote a long time ago. And we'll start by saying that normally, as a songwriter, I've been a words first person. I write the words and then when I'm done writing the words, when the words are good to go, then I pick up the guitar and figure out uh, what it sounds like. This particular song might be one that uh, I didn't do, it, at least not entirely that way. It may have come about from fooling around on the guitar, playing with different uh, unusual chords. Let's put it that way. Unusual chords. I was noodling around and if you play guitar you know that sometimes you could just put like one finger down on one string and maybe one finger down on another string and create a chord that's not a major chord or a minor chord. And I'm talking standard tuning here, you know. Uh, not dad gad, not drop D, not just standard guitar tuning. Uh, you can just place fingers down at frets where they sound interesting, but it's not any standard chord. Like, I know enough music theory to figure out what chord it is if I really, really wanted to, but if I decided I wanted to go back and figure out how to play this song again, and I don't think I ever played it live, frankly. I've never really liked it all that much, but uh, I have to go see. I'm very sure on the lyric sheet I had when I recorded this, I would have diagrammed out the chords where I put each finger because I was easier than trying to come up with a name for them. <laughs> but how should one judge one's own creations? I've never really liked this song in an overall sense. It just, I wrote it and then it's just sort of left me cold. It was, seemed to be more about trying to uh, be interesting than trying to be good. And maybe I achieved that. I don't know. How should one judge one's own creations? It's a good question. I've always, tried to get feedback on my songs whenever I could, but this one seemed not even really worth the bother in that regard. Once again, how should one judge one's own creations? I don't know. Anyway, one reason that I think I may have written this song in the opposite direction that I normally do is that, uh, the song is called Be Open, you know, B-E, Be Open. But it could also be the letter B for the musical note B, which is the open string, uh, second string on the guitar. So that's why I think maybe I came up with at least part of the chords or riff before I uh, finished writing the lyrics. Anyway. I'll be happy to let you all judge it since I don't know what to make of this song anymore. It's called Be Open. Be Open Let it go afraid that you don't know leave home listen your grip be open Be 
open Relax Unwind Loosen up Tense your muscles Just lean back Be open Be open Let it go Turn on the light Turn on the noise Turn it loose Be open Don't blind your eyes Don't let distractions In your mind Don't close your mind Don't shut it tight open be open let love in let ideas in and back out again And let them go Be open There you have it. Interesting chords. I think what I did was I put one finger down on the fretboard on one string at one note and then another string I uh, kept changing the fret I was holding it down. The, uh, first, you know, open, then third fret, then second fret, then first fret. Something like that. But once again, if I wanted to try to learn to play it uh, again, I would have to go back and search out where I diagram just what I was doing on the fretboard there because I don't remember. That's the first time I've listened to the song in its entirety in it's got to be over 10 years or maybe closer to 15. I don't know. Uh, it, uh, it's the first time I've even really thought about the song in a long time. So there you have it, folks. How should one judge one's own creations? I don't know, I've never really liked the song, but I will concede that it is interesting. Have a good one, everybody.